Good morning. We are back. You're watching Inside Tennessee. We're going to take this chance to talk to Jeff Eastman. He's the CEO with Remote Area Medical. And Jeff, let's just go ahead and address uh, a point uh, straight off the bat, and that is that in August, you all and we lost Stan Brock, who was the founder of Brand. Well, first of all, thank you for having me here this morning. Certainly. Yeah, it was, it was a great loss for our organization, a great loss to the world. Profound. Yeah, yeah Stan uh, started Remote Area Medical 33 years ago. Its history goes back down to Guyana. Uh, he was always a visionary. You know, 33 years ago, he wanted to bring free health care to those in need. That's kind of radical. To, yeah, it was very radical, you know, and he was very successful at it. Uh, five years ago, he, he set us up for success with the, the, the way we have the structure now. With uh, myself, who we personally selected as chief executive officer. I've got a great team of chief operations, finance, and development. Got a wonderful board of, of 12 people who've been there for decades since Ram started. And he set us up for success. And in this last six years, we've gone from 12 operations a year in 2012 to over 70 operations last year. Uh, Mr. Brock knew uh, where he wanted the organization to go, and he tasked us with growing it to serve as many people as possible. He uh, lived to be 82, and being the smart man that he was, he realized he wasn't immortal, and basically you're saying he sort of set things up for the future. He absolutely did. I wanted to show, this is uh, your current magazine, which you were telling me has just come out, mm -hmm. and it's pretty much devoted to Stan. Yeah, it certainly is. You can go to our website, ramusa.org, and you can actually pull down a digital copy about us, and you can print off the copy and That's read great. it, and learn about Stan and, and the huge impact he's made on everyone's lives. Well, you all are always busy. You always have stuff that you're doing. Can you talk a little bit about what you're going to be doing uh, this month through the rest of the year? This month is our Catch Our Breath Month. Uh, we've got a clinic getting ready for, in Haiti, for Haiti. We've got a clinic down in Texas. Now, do you do Haiti every year, or has this just come up this year? No, twice a year now we've been going okay. down there. We've actually been stationing uh, equipment down there and been able to take care of uh, some people down there twice a year. Of course, we did disaster response back when the Hurricane Matthew came through on that, so that's been a big thing. Uh, one of our biggest projects is getting ready for the clinic here in Knoxville, just a few blocks from where we are today. Uh, that'll be the very first weekend in February. Uh, starting on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's amazing the need here in East Tennessee. For example, last year at our Knoxville clinic, we saw over 2,100 patients from here in East Tennessee. A lot of them travel from outside the area, but from East Tennessee, and we provided over $1.1 million worth of care just a few blocks from here. It's amazing. Uh, does that include dental as well? Yes, yeah, dental, free dental, free dental, vision, and medical. 65% of what we do is dental, about 30% is vision, only 5% medical. And, and people often wonder, where do our patients come from? Uh, a, a third of our patients are employed full or part-time, a third of them are unemployed, but when you ask those patients those questions, half of those people who are unemployed are looking for work. The rest of our patients are either uh, disabled, retired, and, and one that pains me the most is 5% are veterans, no matter where we are whether it's here in East Tennessee, Florida, California, it's, it's always 5% veterans. Do you see repeat patients? <laughs> do, you, do you see folks who are coming back again and again? Absolutely. Um, we have clinics. Uh, one of my favorite patients is a young lady who works here at a, at a convenience store and a little restaurant part of it. And I happened to have a Ram t-shirt on one day and she said, hey, I got my glasses at Ram. And I was back in. I go there every couple of months and, and she had been in. I said, oh, you got new glasses. She goes, yes. I, I broke my other ones, but I, I went to your clinic and I got new ones when I was up in Clinton. So we are, we are people's health care. You know, uh, most of our clinics we set up on Friday afternoon, so it's Saturday and Sunday. People can start lining up about midnight, and they don't take time off from work, but we're there to take care of them. Now, I want to stop and make sure that everybody knows how they can help RAM. So could you please just let them know right now what's the best way? The best way is to go to ramusa.org. We need two things, volunteers and money. Okay. You can click on the donate button to donate and make a difference or volunteer. You don't have to be a professional. General volunteers, I start out as a hall monitor and then learn how to run the vision lab. You can go in, create your profile and then uh, come to our next clinic and sign up. We'd love to have you volunteer with us. I assume you probably have a lot of folks who get into it and say, I'm just going to keep doing this. Absolutely. We've got, it's called, they're called core volunteers. 
and they have been with us for many years. We've got great, great people starting now as core volunteers, and uh, once they find out that all they have to do is show up, that we bring all the hardware, we bring all the supplies, all the consumables, uh, they say, this is for me. To, uh, I've always thought it was the best volunteer experience out there. I just have to come show up and, and make a difference. Us at headquarters, we provide everything to make it easy. Now, you were telling me that, um, of course, it started out small all mm -hmm. those years ago, but Stan liked to think big, and I assume you all are still thinking big. You bet. Uh, you know, we can do four clinics at a time. In fact, just two weekends ago, we had a clinic in Virginia. We had a clinic in up in Tri-Cities area, and we also had a clinic in California. Plus, we have veterinary clinic was going on at the time. In fact, last year, uh, in 2018 so far, We've done over 30, 302 spay and neuters for a value of $82,000, which 302 spay and neuters, that will reduce in one year 1,500 unwanted puppies. So it makes a huge difference. Here in Knoxville, we'll be doing the same program. We partner with Young Williams. They're a great partner. They are. Uh, so as we get to the clinic, if patients at our clinic can actually come and help get a voucher to uh, have free spay and neuters. And then you also, I suppose, plan, at least in the back of your minds, for the unpredictable, the disasters, because you all do respond to disasters. Yeah, absolutely. Ron Brewer is a long, long time volunteer. We do disaster response. Uh, we've actually had teams going out down to Florida for a hurricane hit there. We sent supplies down there. And we also got a team of going out, Paul Mariska, on the ground helping people. And Jeff, we appreciate you being on here as always. We know we will see you throughout 2019, and we hope you have a great year. Great. Thank you so much for the invitation. Thank you, sir. We will be back in just a minute with a tribute to a very special person.